Amy Robach continued to tell all about her split from Andrew Hsu. During the Tuesday, January 2nd, episode of the news anchors Amy and TJ podcast, Robach, 50, told her boyfriend TJ Holmes, 46, what her most significant takeaways from 2023 were and how proud she is of what she endured, from a public scandal to getting fired and going through a divorce. You can lose your job, you can lose your reputation, you can lose friends and you can lose most of your worldly possessions and still be happy, the blonde beauty explained to her former GMA3 co-anchor. You lost most of your worldly possessions? Holmes questioned Robach about her confusing statement. There was a lot of selling going on, a lot of giving away, the ex-2020 host claimed of her breakup from the actor, 56. It was a great yard sale, the former CNN star joked with his girlfriend, whom he began dating amid his own divorce from his ex-wife Marilee Phoebe. Robach then took the opportunity to throw a bit of shade at Chu, whom she finalized her split from in December 2022. You don't really know someone until you divorce them, the journalist noted of the experience. In order to not say anything further, Holmes quickly changed the subject, adding, moving on. Despite seemingly being in a fairy tale relationship now, Robach and Holmes' romance has not been without its problems. As OK previously reported, the University of Arkansas alum revealed his biggest issue with his partner. I am really, really bad about this. I don't scream, I don't yell, I don't do anything. I don't name call, I don't get aggressive, nothing, but I will check out, Holmes admitted during a recent podcast episode about his temperament in relationships. I don't need you to say, I'm sorry. I don't need you to help me. I have to work through it, and I'm trying to get better at doing it quicker. However, Holmes explained his lack of interest was due to Robach's late apologies when she is in the wrong. It drives me crazy. Because I'm sorry comes 24 hours late, he confessed. It's how you react in the moment that makes all the difference in the world because, in that moment, we have a chance to go this way or this way. And if you go that way, I'm out. I'm done. I'm checked out for the day. I would rather have him yell at me than freeze me out for two days. I'm like, I don't know what to say, what to do, what he thinks, Robach said of the situation.